She says, I have a client who was ritually abused as a child, um, mostly test out at age five by her father and her uncle. Now, by the way, one thing that I'd like to point out is um, uh, it's important to not ever tell anyone that they were abused, okay? Uh, I remember a number of years ago, we had a woman who attended one of our seminars, and she actually believed that she had been abused. And so word got back to us pretty quickly that she was finding that everyone, all of her clients, had been abused. And she was telling all of them that, and it was creating a lot of difficulty and disruption for people. And, and so, um, so we had to let her know, you need to be really, really cautious about this. And I'm, and I'm not referring here, uh, Janice, to you, but if someone comes into you and they know that they've been abused, that's one thing. But um, if you tell someone that they have been abused by what you're finding, um, you're treading on some really, really dangerous ground. And a lot of families and lives have been destroyed um, because of uh, not our practitioners, but because of uh, you know other types of therapists and so on who have who have done that in the past. So anyway, um, she says I have a client that was ritually abused as a child, mostly tests out at age five by her father and her uncle. She was made to eat fecal matter and drink blood, etc. She has a continuing problem in her throat area and a huge problem with being able to open her mouth for fear of offending people with bad breath. We've released her heart well completely and, and many trapped emotions throughout her whole body, especially her throat area, but her problems continue to appear. Is there something more that I could be doing with her? Okay. Well, um, the emotion code is level one, okay? And if you've got some kind of an issue like this that you can't clear with the emotion code, then the next level would be the body code, okay? And, uh, and let's see here. In fact, um, Yes, and then the next level above that would be T3, okay, going to try to find the, the deep underlying uh, uh, core, faulty core beliefs and limiting beliefs and things like that. So there's definitely help even for people like this. 